So 2024 and this year Specialized is celebrating its 50th birthday and not only has it done that with the launch of the new Epic and the Chisel but they're bringing a new stump jumper to the market and while it might look a little bit like the Levo SL that we saw last year there's a lot going on under the hood and in fact that hood is the shock. This is the brand new Stump Jumper 15 and we've got Georgia here and she'll have a bit of a chat with us. We'll do some riding and we'll bring you a verdict. Right, so this is Georgia. She's the brand manager of the Specialized Mountain Bike side and she's going to talk us through the new uh, Stump Jumper. Um, so let's start off with geometry. What's yes. going on here? Hello everybody. Uh, so this is the all new Stump Jumper 15, as Liam said. We're based off an S4, so Quick overview, we've got 150 mil fork, 145 in the rear. It's a, it's 29 front and rear, but you can run it mullet if you wanted to, you cool. just need an aftermarket link. And you can flip the chip in the chainstay down there. Uh, geometry wise, based off an S4, the reach is 475 mil. Mm -hmm. The uh, chainstays are 435. And then as our other bikes and the previous Stump Jumper Evo, they are fully adjustable. So you've got adjustable head angle. So in the kind of standard setting that it comes in, it's 64 and a half. You can go down to 63 and up to 65 mm -hmm. using the headset cups. Cool. You can also heighten or lower the bottom bracket um, if you wanted to as well. So you can really customize the bike and adjust it if you want to. And one key thing about the new geometry and frame design of this bike is that the um, Sandover is around 20 mil lower oh, than the previous Stump Jumper Evo. So you can run a much longer dropper if you wanted to. Cool. Um, so the really important thing here is that uh, Specialized is introducing something called Genie. Yes. So this is this really big shock here. So Georgia, what are we talking about? Yeah. So as I said, on paper, the Genie shock is 145 mil travel. Mm -hmm. um, we worked with Fox. Uh, we created the technology and Fox have made it for us, essentially. So cool. you can get all the service parts, etc., from from Fox and it's standard sizing. Um, so as you can see, it kind of it looks a little bit different to a normal <laughs> shock. Uh, that is because it's got two air chambers. So you've got an external chamber as well. So mm -hmm. it means that the volume is huge so it's really soft off the top of the suspension and then you've got you've got your ramp up uh, as you go through the travel so for the first 70 percent of the travel it uses both of the air, cha air chambers in conjunction um, and then for the, the for the last 30 percent of the travel there's something inside here called the genie band and it blocks off that external chamber and just gives you that that ramp up of the, okay. of the internal chamber so that should solve the bottom out exactly cool. exactly so you get less bottom out but you still get that really soft plush feeling off the top of the suspension so you basically have the best of both worlds between an air shock and a coil shock cool. um, and you also have more usable travel in this um, than you do on the Stump Jumper Evo even though technically on paper it's only 145 so the bike essentially feels like it's got more travel than it does. Cool and you can pack this full of spaces as well. You so can yeah it's really easy you just take off the circuit there slide down the, um, the can the external can and you can put um, spaces in the outside or on the side like you, cool. like you can normally. Brilliant, so um, we've got to go ride it and I'll talk to you as we're riding it. Cool, see you in a bit. All right, so we've been treated quite well. We've got the Specialized Stump Jumper in the S-Works model. And obviously it's the proper full bling one. So we've got Fox factory suspension, including that proper interesting shock with that Genie design. Um, please, but look, I've never ridden these trails before. Um, so we've actually got Strand Maven brakes, which are pretty fancy, quite powerful. We've got Rosh Hot Reverb dropper post, bus axis as well. Axis everywhere basically. So that includes the wireless shifting, so it's an XX derailleur. Of course, the dropper post. Carbon everything, carbon rims from Roval that are quite specialised, quite happy to show off. And oh, that is the spec for this bike. And so the brand Specialized is saying it's going to cost between nine and ten thousand pounds for this top spec. But of course, there's the full range to pick from. Okay, so the bike price starts between four and a half and five. <sighs> See, so yeah, like in terms of trail bike geometry, it's actually rather sensible. You know, the reach isn't terribly long. Bike isn't terribly slack or anything like that. But all that magic is in that rear end. It's, like, it's balanced in a new way. So when pedaling like this, or like I was, it's quite taut, it's quite efficient. 
but then it does a good job of opening up over the rough stuff it's not that, as much here at the moment and that low sand over means really good things for the bike because yeah as Roger said you can put in long travel dropper posts which is kind of like the modern trend at the moment and the important thing is that it fits better in with the S sizing that they talk about so if you wanted to size up this is more welcoming than it was before so for reference this is an S4 I'm 5'10 and I believe this is like a 180 dropper maybe a little shorter I could be very wrong I'll correct myself okay but I've still got a lot of um, kind of seat tube to play with yeah climbing that firmness on the pedals translates so it's actually pretty efficient it feels pretty good it kind of feels like there's quite a bit of anti-squat but that's just my feeling I could be wrong there but what is true is that we've got nice efficiency so it's not horrifically tiring when you're going up a hill something that we didn't mention is that the specializers put some special effort into this swap box so it's a lot more flush and it's very different to what we've seen before I'm told that the, the person who was, whose job it was to put that on and off 2,000 times to make sure it doesn't do anything weird to the frame so yeah it looks a lot neater pretty tidy and yeah we've got to talk about the paint finish so it's all speckled so it always looks a little bit wet and that's pretty cool Of course, all that adjustability means that you can, ooh, you can kind of make the stump jumper whatever you want it to be. You know, mullet, um, longer, shorter, slacker, steeper. Let's focus a bit. Oh, so yeah, the rear end just kind of eats it, smooths it all out. And it's cool, real good fun. And it's a bit wet. all of that trail all right we've got a bit more tech Ooh, a bit loose and rocky apparently which this bike does quite well so where it's like really can't saw it on the pedals the rear end opens up and provides tons of grip while being really comfortable you know you don't get that harsh jarring feeling of square edge hits all the time it's smooth and it kind of gives you the impression that's more bike than it actually is while getting whipped in the face okay so new stump jumper um for a long time the stump jumper has kind of been the benchmark for trail mountain bikes and I believe that this still carries that kind of that crown um, you know it's really good to see Specialized still trying to innovate especially with this new shock even though the geometry kind of stays relatively same to the um, Evo um, stump jumper from last year but it's a fun trail bike that's it encompasses that kind of genre really well in the way that it can pedal up a hill quite quickly and you know there's enough kind of resistance in the suspension to help you do that quickly for a long period of time um, and of course you know Specialized kind of believes in the geometry and it's pretty well sorted it's a really good balance of stability and agility you know it's not the longest bike in the world it doesn't have the longest reach it doesn't it's not the slackest nothing like that but um, it's balanced which is the most important thing um, and of course if it's not to your taste at the moment it can all be changed around so you can like steepen up quite a lot if you want like a big day out in the hills you can lengthen the chainstay you can shorten it there's so much going on so yeah there's a lot of good stuff going on here and hopefully we can spend a bit more time on this bike a little more down the way um, but yeah there's some very first very initial very quick impressions 
of the Stump Jumper 15. This is the S-Works model, very posh. If you would like a more in-depth look at the Stump Jumper 15, especially in this S-Works build, um, head over to www.off.roach.cc. And thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.